Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Coach Brian O'Keefe, and today we're going to get into the proper fit of a bowling ball. So important. It is, Mike. You know, with without a proper fit, man, it's hard to bowl well. So just by knowing the aspects of it, but also understanding uh, some maybe some quick and simple things, or you can kind of almost self-diagnose whether or not your ball fits properly, I think this will help a lot of people. Yeah, definitely. Let's uh, Let's take a look at the proper fit. There's a saying in the coaching world that you can't out-coach a bad ball fit. Well, what does that mean? Well, if we're gonna be trying to improve your game and improve your scores, if the ball doesn't fit your hand properly, how can we expect you to really stay loose and free and execute the best shots to your ability? We're the only sport in the world where you put your hand into the object you're trying to throw. Every other sport where you're throwing an object, you just grab the object. You don't insert your hand into that object. So that makes your ball fit that much more important. So that takes us to what are the three most important areas of the ball fit? Those are hole size. Everybody knows what that is. You know, how, how big is the hole or how tight or how loose is the hole comparatively to your thumb and fingers? Secondly is the span. How far away are the thumb hole and the finger holes? And then lastly is the pitches. Most people may not know that when the bowling ball is drilled, the angle that the ball is drilled and the hole angles aren't exactly straight down into the ball. They're all pitched in a certain direction to match your flexibility as a bowler. So if one of those th three things are out of line, then we're not gonna be doing things properly on the lanes. So what I wanna do is diagnose and give you guys at home quick tips that can help you diagnose whether or not your ball fits you properly. So first, hole size. Well, this is a tough one. You know, a lot of people, they're a little bit worried that they're gonna go down the lane with a bowling ball. So they end up having the hole size be way too loose and they end up having to squeeze it a lot to hang on to it. So we wanna make sure that the thumb hole is tight, but not so tight that we're gonna go down the lane. So that's something that as you get greater, greater and greater skill levels and you become more advanced as a player, you should be able to start to fine tune your feel and touch to get that hole size nice and snug. So the second thing we're gonna reference is span. Once again, that's the distance apart between your finger holes and your thumb hole. If that gets to be too stretched or too short, you have to use more grip pressure to hang on to it. Remember, this is kind of the golden rule. More grip pressure in bowling is bad. We wanna be as relaxed as possible so that our swing can stay nice and loose and then we can execute the shot to the best of our ability. So what are some things at home that you can sort of self-diagnose and check your span? So that's simple. So what we wanna do is put our thumb all the way in to the bowling ball. We don't want to put it three quarters of the way in or halfway in. We want to make sure our thumb's all the way in and seated completely into the ball. And then just lay our fingers out over the top of our finger holes. We don't want to put them inside the holes. We just want to lay them out over the top. Now what I've done to reference here is I put a little mark on the side of my fingers directly halfway between both of my finger joints. And where we want that pen line to be lined up with the leading edge of the gripping hole. If that pen line starts to be a little bit before the leading edge of the gripping hole, we know that the span's a little bit too stretched or a little too long. Well, conversely, if that pen line ends up being more in the middle of the hole, that means our span's a little too short. Now, once again, this is just some simple at-home tips that you can do. We always are gonna request you to make sure to go and see a professional in the pro shop, but that's something at home that you can do to check on your span. And then lastly is the pitches. Now, obviously you guys at home are not gonna be able to diagnose what the pitches should be. And that's where we really have to rely on your pro shop operator. But if you feel that your hole size is proper, then you may have an issue with some of the pitches of your ball being how it's laid out. Man, Brian, a plethora of information went over there. Yeah, I'll say it again. Can't out coach a bad fit. You know how you expect to throw lots of strikes if your ball don't fit your hand. Absolutely, so make sure that you have the proper fit Get with a pro shop professional, make sure your hand fits inside the ball perfectly so that you can repeat shots out on the lanes. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our video today. Hopefully you learned something you can apply to your game. Do us a favor, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Also, if you'd like to get backstage access to our coaches, you can join our online community at backstagebowling.com. Use the coupon code SAVE20 to save $20 off an annual subscription. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.